If you spend enough time trackside at the Nürburgring, you start to notice the cars that do not want to be noticed. This 911 GT2 RS test mule is exactly that kind of car. A 991 body wearing a flattened flash bow face, fake headlight stickers where lamps should be, an arrow that looks part prototype and part time machine. The message is subtle but clear. Porsche is experimenting with front end packaging and it chose a proven 991 GT2 RS shell to do it without tipping its hand on any 992 tooling. The nose sits lower and cleaner than a standard 991 with a stretched splitter and a squared off bumper that reads more modern 935 than classic 930 slant nose. Removing the traditional 911 bucket headlights simplifies the airflow path over the front deck, which is almost certainly the point. A slant nose profile can reduce pressure buildup at the leading edge, helping both downforce consistency and cooling capacity. Look closely and you see signs of serious thermal management, enlarged grill area, deep ducting, and what appears to be extra extraction on the hood and around the wheel arches. That is classic Porsche mule strategy. Over cool first and fine tune later. The mule's rear tells a different story. Familiar 991 GT, 2 RS musculature, massive intakes, and a wing that does not match the catalog pieces you are used to seeing. It looks purpose-built for balance with the new front, hinting at a full aero map in development. The stance is aggressive, likely on center lock wheels with motorsport rubber and frequent stops for tire temperature probes. Inside, expect a lattice of data loggers, ride height sensors, and pressure taps. Nothing glamorous and everything useful. Why build a slant nose mule now? Three reasons line up. First, heritage cells, and the Flashbow name carries weight with fans who remember the 930 Special Wishes cars and the period when a 911 wore its turbocharged intent on its face. Second, the modern 935 proved that a lightly disguised GT2 RS can anchor a limited run, track leaning special with huge brand impact. Third, a flatter nose opens opportunities. More radiator frontal area, a different condenser layout, new brake cooling paths, and cleaner airflow to the underbody. Testing that under camouflage on a 991 keeps attention off the specific production platform while still giving engineers a blisteringly fast baseline. Powertrain details are a black box, but the 991 GT 2RS Foundation sets a high floor, a 3.8 liter twin turbo flat 6 rated at 700 horsepower in production form. Whether this mule runs that exact tune or a development spec does not change the purpose, Porsche is correlating aerodynamic changes against a repeatable known quantity. If this project becomes a road car, it could land anywhere on the spectrum from a Manti racing performance kit with slant nose cues to a factory Flachbau RS Heritage Edition with numbered build plates. The use of a 991 body does not rule out a 992 era target. Porsche has a long habit of hiding tomorrow's ideas under yesterday's panels. There is also a pragmatic reason for the slant nose disguise beyond heritage. On a car as fast as a GT2 RS, stabilizing the front aero platform can pay dividends in lap time consistency and brake behavior. A lower leading edge with smarter venting can reduce front axle lift over crests and compressions, the Nürburgring signature features. If the test logs show cleaner pressure recovery and cooler brake and coolant temps, the concept moves from nostalgia to necessity. The wild card is the badge on the build sheet. Porsche and Manti Racing have blurred the lines between factory and partner on previous projects, and the Nürburgring is Manti territory. Wheels, hardware, and setup choices on the mule echo that playbook. Whether the finished piece wears a Stuttgart crest alone or a man tie suffix, the intent looks the same. Chase a more efficient front end and wrap it in a face that will set forums on fire. For now, the slant nose mule remains a rolling question mark.
which is exactly how Portia likes it. The clues are all there. Reworked nose, serious cooling, bespoke arrow, and a test location that punishes half measures. The only thing left is the reveal. If you want us to keep digging on this story, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.